in this lab what are called solar photovoltaics and most people have seen on rooftops uh, solar panels and usually they're made out of silicon they're kind of big and bulky it turns out that most of the cost in setting up a, a solar power system is related to the fact that these panels are so so heavy and difficult to bring up to the roof and affix to the roof and sometimes you have to reinforce your roof and all this uh, sort of stuff. So uh, we're trying to make uh, solar panels out of new materials that could potentially be cheaper, uh, flexible, and even more efficient. And so when uh, the technology becomes flexible, you can in principle make your solar cells in a, a warehouse type situation, a factory, and then take an entire uh, gigantic roll and just roll it out on someone's roof in a real simple and easy way. So this, we think, will dramatically improve uh, the availability and the cost of, of uh, electricity from solar energy. We use a number of uh, types of, different types of semiconducting materials that um, most people wouldn't think were semiconductors, so the the red coloring in your shirt, for example, is uh, it comes from a semiconducting dye, and uh, that dye can be used in order to produce electrons when light is shining on it. And uh, we also use uh, white paint, which you wouldn't think is a semiconductor, uh, quantum dots, which are little uh, tiny particles of semiconductors, and um, a certain type of uh, plastic can be used. And we uh, make solar cells out of all these uh, different materials, and some of our solar cells have each one of those materials in them. And the, uh, one of the challenges for us is to understand how the solar cells work. So you need current and you need voltage in order to produce electric power. Um, and the current part is relatively easy. We've made a lot of progress in understanding how current is generated, but voltage still remains a mystery. And in one of our projects in the lab, we have successfully fabricated a cell that produces more voltage than you would expect. And so we're trying to figure out why. I think the entire world uh, should be interested in our research findings. So. What's, what's, energy about, uh, what's interesting about the energy market is that it's uh, a global market and um, energy is bought and sold as a commodity and same with solar panels. So for instance, if you are able to bring the cost down of your solar panels and you're selling it on the global market, you can reduce the cost of solar energy everywhere for everyone. And the trick is to be able to bring the cost down below fossil fuels, below the cost of fossil fuels, and thereby making them obsolete. And so I think this is our opportunity to introduce flexible solar into the market and really, um, really reduce the cost of solar way below that of fossil fuels. Even today, in Texas, uh, solar PV is cheaper than any other form of energy. But we want that to happen everywhere in the world. In physics, we, we pretty much teach every course in the curriculum, but I've developed a class on renewable energy for, um, for uh, all students, not just physics students. And um, in that course, we look into these questions of how much energy do we use as Americans and uh, um, what, in what ways do we use energy and where does that energy come from and what are the consequences of using energy in that way.